Hey guys, J9 here. A lot of people in my other videos still seem to have trouble with selling their own cards, which is understandable, but that's not really where any of the big bucks are. Like you're not really gonna make too much bank off selling your own cards. Where the big bank is reselling other people's cards. So I'll be giving you a little, you know, some tips and a little guide on how to resell other people's cards. So the first tip in looking forward to reselling people's cards is looking for badges. What I mean by badges is you want to look for the little badges at the bottom right corner of the card. So like a verified badge. Um, sometimes they have like a um, a YouTube badge or a TikTok badge or um, like a star creator badge. Those badges will make your card easier to resell because it makes your card look cooler and more notable than any other, you know, regular cards you know so that's what other players look for now the next step is searching for fame value now i know in my previous other videos i said that i don't really give a shit about fame value because i don't when it comes to reselling fame value does play a key factor in um the price so for example a blaze imperium card these can fetch like around, I'd say maybe 9K, I think, because he has 4.86 million fame value, but it's not really the case though, because he does have 500 cards that he put out into circulation, meaning he has way more cards than something like a, uh, a Preston card, which I think he only has like, Preston, I think he only put out like 50, or Inception Time, sorry, Inception Time, he put out like 50, I think. And his cards, Inception Time cards can probably fetch around 40k plus. Of course, it depends on the serial number, but like I'd say like an average Inception Time card can probably fetch around 40k plus. But yeah, that's the difference. Even though he has more fame value than Inception Time, Inception Time cards will sell for more. So you kind of have to take into account the rarity of the card, um, along with the fame value, of course. Another good example is that yes, Blaze Imperium cards will sell for around, you know, like what is it, like 9k I think? It can fetch around 9k, but even though he does have 4.86 million fame value, a poke card will probably fetch around 10k plus. Even though he has much, much less fame value. Why? Because th these cards are rarer to find. You'll probably find a Blaze Imperium card in damn near every server you join. I, I almost see one in every server I join, so... But you don't really see that many poke cards out there. Also, the thing with fame value is that prices can fluctuate a lot because nothing is really set in stone. You know, like there's not really a formula that you can use to accurately price point your cards. You know, according to the fame value and rarity and all that, it's hard to just, you know, put a price tag on it and be like, yes, this is exactly how much it's worth. Because you have to take into account rarity, serial numbers, fame value, um, circulation. You have to take all of those factors into account. So it kind of makes it difficult to price point it. But you can also take a look into the big purchases channel on the Discord server. And it'll kind of, it, it helps a lot with, you know, um, price ranging your cards so that you're not really missing out on much or you're not losing too much or you're not overpricing it. So you can also use that to help you too. Serial numbers, serial numbers. I'm a fucking nerd when it comes to serial numbers, as you can see. Now, serial numbers are very important when you try to resell other people's cards. I'd say low serial numbers are numbers one through nine. Anything above that is just kind of like a regular average serial number because Here's the thing though, right? If you look into the recent purchases, the big purchases, sorry, in the Discord channel, and you look up a certain card, you'll notice that lower serial numbers will sell for more. Why? Because they're rarer. So it, they're more desirable rather than just the average, regular, meh, mid serial number. So you may think that your card goes for like, oh, this number three, card sold for 30k so that must mean that this card the same card that i have must sell for also 30k that's not really the case though number three will sell for 30k but your number 38 card will sell for substantially less because it's not a low serial
Sometimes when I negotiate with people on this game, I lose IQ points, but that's just how it is, right? It's a, you know, it's a very important factor in this game. It's a very key role that you play in this game. It's negotiating and talking to other people about their cards, trying to, you know, lower their prices, yada yada. Because there's something you have to understand. You need patience in this game because what you have to comprehend is that the amount of people selling cards is significantly higher than the amount of people buying cards. So considering that there are way more people selling than buying, it allows you to get some pretty good deals whenever you're negotiating with people because people sometimes they get impatient and they just want to sell off the card quicker. They want their Robux faster. So you get pretty good deals off of it and that allows you to make more Robux in the end. Now I also know in my previous videos I said that the Discord server trading channel isn't really the best because I, I didn't find anything too interesting but nowadays the trading channel is actually kind of hot. They have some pretty good cards available. So if you ever try to, you know, if you ever get bored of just hopping servers, just get into the Discord server. You'll actually find some pretty decent cards and sometimes you'll get pretty good deals on them. Like um for example, let me find, oh look at this, a number 50 Duet 1 card. If you don't if you guys don't know who Duet 1 is, he's the guy that created work at a pizza place. Dude, this is a sick card. Uh, this is such a great card. I love this card. But yeah, there's also some, like some uh, just some really good cards on here that I've seen as of late, so you know, I think this is probably another pretty good alternative if you don't want to keep hopping servers. So yeah, man, those are my tips on reselling. Get on out there and lowball the shit out of people, man. Go make some Robux. All right, guys. Bye.